Happening now, our blood drive is underway with the American Red Cross. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Lainey Pope. She's at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds. Hi, Lainey. Hi guys. Well, you know what? Our goal today was to get 100 folks to come in and donate blood, and we are definitely making some headway with that. In fact, we have already 75 folks that have donated that 75 units of blood, and one unit of blood can impact the lives of three people. So you are definitely helping the community and helping to save lives. There's still plenty of room to come in. You don't have to register ahead of time. You can register right when you come in the door. We're at Gate 9 at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds. I've heard some really inspiring stories stories today and I've got with me right now Lee Green and you're a nurse and you're also a mom so you definitely know the need for blood from a nurse perspective but also as a parent. Yes I used to work at um, Baptist Hospital and I was in orthopedic trauma so we got a lot of the trauma cases in and when you need blood it's crucial and um, you want that available. And so it's real easy for folks to come in and help. And I guess they don't really realize who, who am I impacting. And you've got your daughter, Bella, here. Tell us about Bella. Uh, Bella's 22, and um, she was born with a severe cryptogen cryptogenic epilepsy. Um, but with any chronic illness, it can often impact other things. So she's required a lot of surgery, and it is required blood. And she has a full hip replacement coming up in January. Um, and so I wanted to give, um, to thank everybody, and, and be there for everybody who needs it. Um, it's something that's so important. You never know when your life's going to be impacted um, by something like this or a family member. And um, there's a quote that makes me think of it, and it's, um, as one person you can't change the whole world, but as one person you can change one person's world. And when someone needs a unit of blood, if you've given, you're helping that person. Thank you so much for that story. And I've heard a lot of stories today of folks that have, they're giving because of a loved one. And I've also had some folks that have just walked in off the street and they're inspired to give for the first time. And for somebody that's sitting out there right now and they're kind of unsure, but they're thinking about it, mm -hmm. what would you have to say to them? Um, it's really very um, easy to do. Um, you don't have to worry about needles or anything. The staff here relax you. And um, it's really a really quick, simple process. And um, I think once you give, you're kind of, you're kind of addicted and you want to keep giving. Um, and there's nothing better than helping someone else. I was going to say, there is no better feeling than giving. And in this case, you're giving the gift of life, yes, right? Yes, yes, you're saving lives. <laughs> thanks yes. so much for sharing your story. And thanks, Bella, for being with us this afternoon as well. Uh, we would love to see you come out here to the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds. Again, we're at Gate 9, and you can come on in. And we'll get you registered and it takes the whole process about an hour but folks will be here through six o'clock so we need about 15 or 20 more people to get us close to that 100 goal so we'd love to see you come on out